What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. I guess um, everybody just just kind of happy that we got a confirmation on when um, Spence and Fondura are going to fight because I felt like they established that when Spence came in the ring uh, after uh, Fondura fought Tim Zhu, I thought it was already, uh, it had already been confirmed that they was going to fight next. So I guess it's... We know the fight gonna be in October, uh, which ain't that much longer. Uh, Spencer been stayed out the ring 14 months. That ain't too bad uh, compared to how he usually been staying out. And I think that's a good fight for him. If he if he back himself, it shouldn't be that hard of a fight. Uh, Fondura is not a big puncher. He can't throw. He, he now he got some nice uppercuts, but his jab and his straight rights ain't nothing Earl shouldn't be able to handle and. Him being an uh, orthodox fighter, this won't be hard for I don't think Earl will have a hard time getting on the inside. And I think his straight left and his overhead and right and right hooks uh, uh, will be able to, be able to touch Fondura a lot if he back to being himself again. I, I think I think it's a good fight for him, though. No, uh, it's going to be a competitive fight, and Fondura is a guy that you got to take serious. Uh, you know, he, he got a, he got a lot of reach and height, and he, you know he he finally used it against Tim Zhu. He usually give his height up, in my opinion, but he fought tall against uh, Zhu and used the jab a lot. Now, I feel like if it wasn't for the head, but though I felt like uh, Tim would have eventually knocked him out because he was catching him with so many big shots in the first round, like at will. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for the head, but that fight would have went completely different, in my opinion. Uh, so and I'm thinking Earl saw that too, but Fondura did grit it out, didn't get the win. I see Earl, you know, Earl like to work the body. I see him being able to get to that body, uh, no problem getting on the inside and, you know, breaking Fondura down uh, as the fight go on if he, if he back to being himself and pushing the pace, uh, you know, Earl like to fight at a real fast, rapid pace when he 100% himself. And a lot of fighters can't think on their toes and keep up with him mentally when he when he, when he press them like that. So I think I think if Earl is back to himself, I think it, it'll be a real exciting fight. But it, it'll be a, 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 a probably a knockout, you know, late, you know, or TK or something like that because I think Earl I be getting on side and hitting him with some real big shots. And I think he, you know, because he's so big, Earl, when he catch him up top, he gonna be catching him good, you know, cause Fondura don't hold his hand, you know, he keep his left hand low a lot. So that overhead right uh, is, is gonna be able to connect. And his, um, I gotta say, it just, I don't see Earl having a whole lot of problems in this fight if he back to himself. Uh, I'm a little concerned with the fact that I don't know who he, who's going to be training him yet. Uh, that's a little concerning. But, you know, we'll find out everything we need to know about Spence when they finally had a fight. Uh, I don't, you know, Virgil Hunter made some comments this week that I didn't really agree with. Uh, but he's speaking for it from a trainer's perspective. Uh, so he's going to see it in a trainer's favor. Uh, obviously, that's what's going on because – it ain't no way in the hell he could think from that last performance that Spence had in the ring that Derrick James deserved another dime more than he already been paid. I mean, uh, it sounds like uh, Virgil saying, give him another two and a half million because y'all been together for a long time. Uh, uh, but it definitely wasn't for the, the performance that he put out. And she, if you, I mean, you know, it seemed like he spent less time with Earl in this fight, the biggest fight his career than any of them. Uh, you can't tell me he had his undivided attention and he trained in five guys for everybody fighting within a couple of weeks of each other. You know, so I think I, I, I think Derrick James, uh, now Earl went out there and lost the fight, but I felt like Derrick James definitely let him down in that training camp. And then you see what's going on now. Shit, he probably wasn't one hundred percent dialed in. Well, you, it's obviously that he wasn't. Uh, that none of his fighters really looked like themselves last year because I think he had his 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 hands full. And just because you're doing something a certain way don't mean it's the right thing. And whatever the hell he was doing wasn't didn't work. Uh, 
Charlo Robbie took some L's last year right after he got the train of the year. And that award went to his head a little bit too. So, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I like Virgil, but I don't agree with uh, a lot of what he said. You said just basically give him the money because uh, if not, you're going to give it to Uncle Sam. If you ain't did your job, I'd rather give it to Uncle Sam. Just keeping it real. Ain't nobody just giving away two and a half billion dollars. You know, uh, especially when I don't hear nobody giving Derrick James no blame for that. Well, I ain't going to say nobody. I don't hear their trainers giving him no blame because the fighters damn sure did some of them uh, right after the fight. These trainers killed me. That's what I don't like about some a lot of these trainers. They there for all the credit, but once shit go wrong, that, that wasn't their fault. All the, they plan is always the right plan. You just didn't execute it. Shit, sometimes you gave me a bullshit plan to go to start with. Uh, like I got to say, man, uh, <clears throat> I, I got a problem with just getting credit and taking no blames. Uh, crap that's going on. Uh, I mean, I don't, I, I don't hear them. You know, tell me, you know, I would like for him to tell me why he deserved two and a half million dollars for that particular fight right there. And I guarantee he wouldn't be able to. He talking about because they've been together for a long time, man. Uh, that ain't, that ain't, I, I can't do it like that neither. I'm, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I ain't just giving away money. You know, uh, I just pay my taxes. You need to earn your keep, you know, uh, you know, because if you pay him like that, then he think he did his damn job. When you know he didn't, I'm I'm not gonna do that. I ain't gonna I, I ain't gonna lie to you, uh, and you damn sure ain't gonna make no fool out of me. You gonna have train me and get paid more than <laughs> uh, the double what you used to get. Man, you crazy. That don't even make no sense. So, you know, like I said, man, you know, uh, Virgil speaking from a trainer's perspective. You know, uh, he definitely ain't speaking on what happened in that last fight. He can't, and he definitely and he didn't say that. You know, he's just talking about. What you gonna, what, you know, what we have to go, you know, saying that you gonna spend the money anyway. Hey man, uh, you gotta do your job. You wanna get paid, point blank. Period. You have, you you do have a job. You have have pains. I'm sorry. You know, uh, you trying to train the world and train me at the same time for the biggest fight of my career, and then I go out there and look like that. And you got the nerve to be out here beefing with me about money when you. You know, and, and, and Virgil Hunter know this. You can't just say we're going to be in the gym for two hours today because what if we working on something and we ain't got it right yet? Then we stay till we get it right. And, and Virgil know that. You can't. You know how much shit they probably left undone going in there for a, a certain amount of time. They got somebody else running in there too. Uh, I'm not paying, you know, no, no top dollar for no bullshit, like for no half, half a camp. When, when you rushing me through my drills and stuff like that, because you got other people coming, no, you, that ain't how you get top dollar. I'm sorry, you know, especially when this has that this has how they been this has been a relationship. You know, it was one thing he asked him about Charlo, and he said, "Cool, Frank Martin, he's promoting." <clears throat> but now you just now you just bringing on all type of fighters, and you ain't got time for the guy who got your who who got you there. And, and Virgil know that, you know, he's just speaking from a trainer's perspective, point blank period, you know, and uh, if from that perspective, he always looked at what he, what he would want, but you ain't being honest, uh, you know, he, he can't he can't say that guy did his job against Crawford, because if he did, it, they would have looked more prepared in the ring, they was not prepared for that fight, and the trainer got to take some of that blame, you know, People keep talking about, well, that's Earl partying and drinking. That shit, they stopped that four or five years. The accident was almost six years ago. You know, so they keep bringing up old stuff that the stuff been over and done with. You know, he, he said that when he, after he came out of that accident, it made him see things differently. And he won a couple of fights. He just kept getting injured. Uh, so it didn't have nothing to do with no partying and drinking and shit like that. that you know, people, I think a lot of these dudes read other people's comments and just say the same stuff. I really do. I don't, some of these folks, I don't even think it'd be their own thoughts. They just be repeating, like Paris, repeating what they heard somebody else say, you know. Uh, but uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, if you like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.